Hey everyone, Michelle McCarthy here. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, what I have for you today, I want to show you, give you a quick overview of whatever you're going to be doing for Hispanic Heritage Month. For you guys that don't know, Hispanic Heritage Month starts September 15th all the way to October 15th. And a couple weeks ago, I realized, you know, I started talking and seeing a couple other uh, YouTube, you know, Hispanic moms that are, you know, homeschooling, and they started talking about Hispanic Heritage Month, and I just realized that I really haven't done anything about it with, with, with my kids, about, you know, teaching them about my heritage, and I felt embarrassed. I was like, wow, I, you know, I'm, you know, I'm from, you know, Puerto Rico, and yeah, my daughter has been, you know, to Puerto Rico, and she... She's been to a couple places there and she knows my family, but she doesn't really know a lot about the history because I didn't take the time to teach her. And I felt really embarrassed. So I decided, okay, so I need to make, I'm gonna do a unit to, you know, teach her a little bit about, you know, Hispanic, you know, her culture and more about our, you know, beautiful island of, you know, Puerto Rico. And all this happened, be, you know, when, when I started, you know, getting these books from the library and started planning was before, you know, the hurricane went through, through our, through our island. And now I realize this is going to be a really special time just to learn a little bit about what Puerto Rico was and what Puerto Rico is going to be now. And so be, because of all the devastation and we've been, you know, talking a lot about it when watching the news. So it will be just a great time for us to, you know, talk about the island. And I, I realized that I, you know, I took it for granted. So yeah. So let me stop now before I get emotional and okay. So I'm gonna to talk to you guys a little bit about what I plan to do. I wrote everything down here. So one of the things that I would like to do just to, in the unit, we're not gonna do any big projects. Things that I love to do is read a lot with, 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 with my kids to learn. So we're gonna so be adding some read aloud books about uh, Puerto Rico, some picture books to our morning basket time. And I'll show you all the books that I got in a little bit. So just, you know, adding that. We're gonna do a Puerto Rican Hispanic, you know, poetry tea time. Next week we are going to be making some quesitos, which is a, you know, Puerto Rican pastry. Kind of semi-homemade. I find, you know, a really easy, you know, recipe that Mia can help me with. And so we're gonna be having that for, you know, Hispanic poetry tea time next week. Other things, just you know, teach her about the map. She looks where she knows what you know, Puerto Rico looks like, and she's been there. But she didn't know we were reading a book today, and she didn't know exactly where we you know, some of her family members are from. So, just gonna you know, look, look at the map and study it and tell her where the mountains are and where her family's from. And, and we'll talk a little bit about the hurricane and what happened. So, you just you know, look at the flag and study it, and you know, learn about wh why the flag is you know is the way that it is, and we can go back and do a little bit of you know um, history. And I haven't decided yet for the main thing. Not that I want to do anything huge, but either find you know someone and do a short, very short you know biography project. Maybe you know send you know maybe we can send you know some postcards to or, or some letters to our family down there just to make the you know let them know that we're thinking about it about them. So they will be that will be a good you know project. Other things maybe do a recipe book, find some poems that we like and we can copy them. I was also thinking maybe doing a book with some of you know refranes, which are um, you know proverbs um puerto rican proverbs and she can write them in spanish and in english since we're also uh, studying spanish so i haven't exactly decided what i want to do for the you know bigger activity but um i will let you know you know a little bit later on what i'm going to be doing so i'm going to just going to share with you really quick the books that we're going to be using i found this book it's called the golden flower a taino myth from you know puerto rico i got all these books at the library the other day and this one is parrots over puerto rico and my daughter's been talking, you know, she, she read a little bit about the parrots and she's been worried that they might be extinct now because they were endangered. And now with the hurricane, we, you know, we don't know what has happened to them. So she's been kind of interested in asking about them. And another book about Ro Roberto Clemente. So this is really good. I got three books here that uh, teach more about, you know, the history and, and the past about, you know, Puerto Rico. I got this uh, uh, scholastic one. I think this one is the one we're going to be reading the most because it has, I think, it has the best pictures in the more, a little bit more recent, it's a more recent book. So we're going to be doing, reading this one, Puerto Rico, Celebrate the States. And I got this one that says, you know, Puerto Rico, Hello USA. Okay, but we're going to take, you know, things here and there, but I think the mostly we're going to be reading from this one. I got some poetry books here. They are not all, I don't think they are from, you know, Puerto Rico, but it is, you know, Hispanic Heritage Month. We're going to be reading some poetry about Hispanic authors. 
Uh, this was called Sola Sol. It is you know, bilingual in Spanish and English, so maybe I can read the English, um, the Spanish as she can read the English. I'm going to be doing that next week while we make, and we're going to be eating our, you know, quesitos. Uh, Versos Sencillos, Simple Verses. So it's a bilingual book by Jose Martí. And Cool Salsa, Bilingual Poems on Growing Up Latino in the United States. So we're going to read a couple of those. And I can also add the read alouds to our, you know, um, uh, poetry tea time. And I just got this, you know, DVD at the library. Uh, we watched this when I taught, you know, Spanish at the charter school, but it's called American Cultures for Children. It's a little bit for younger kids, but we can watch it and just learn a little bit. So that's it. That's a couple, uh, a couple of the things that I'm going to be doing for Hispanic Heritage Month. And I want you just to ask you to keep praying for the people of, you know, Puerto Rico, because we ha they have a long way to go and they need a lot of our prayers. So again, my name is Michelle McCarthy. Thank you for so much for watching. If you want to see more videos about homeschooling, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel. I will see you all soon.